in the pipe beneath the board, put some kind of nut or put a, a screw in there. Well, I think nuts more. Well, we could use the picnic table someplace else, though, right? I mean, oh, just move them. Oh, yeah. absolutely. But, yeah. So if we just, instead of trying to retrofit, you know, plan on moving those picnic tables to someplace appropriate and then get the other kind, maybe? Does well, we'll get some prices and then we'll make that decision. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, possibly you could, you know, maybe not through the top of the table, but through the legs of the, the, the picnic tables drill yeah. something. But still, uh, you know, you're going to have... Should we just move it for now out of the area? Ask Steve to take it. Well, there's, there's, two, there's two at the beach, and I think one got dragged <laughs> way down. Maybe you know, <coughs> I'm not sure. It's, if, if not, it's right at the edge of Carlette's. Um, hmm. That's that one stays above water, but I, I think I think that's been more of a fisherman's uh, place to set their gear while they're, huh. <laughs> while they're waiting out. But the other one, I, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they like sitting in you know on the table while they're in the water or, or what they're why they they keep yeah. dragging the swimmers keep dragging the tables out. Where they fish yeah. from there. That's no, it's not. No? It's not really an area that people fish. Huh. No. It, yeah. It's right at the beach, you know, straight out. And, and it, it doesn't take very far to go out now to get underwater. I mean, hmm. I didn't have to drag it that far to get it back up on shore. Yeah. Let me refresh your memories. About three years ago, some kids dumped them in Muskegon Lake. And of course, the people going out fishing, <coughs> you've never seen it. One man had several broken ribs. His partner got busted up real bad. Now you're going to get hurt. You hit that thing and you're flying down the lake with a boat. You hit something like that. You're going to get hurt. You're going flying. So they are very dangerous. You put them in the water. You can rather the water skier hits it or the boat hits it, but somebody's going to get hurt bad. Huh. So uh, I just want you to know that, uh, you know. There is a bass tournament coming up soon. Yeah. One or two in the, the next one two months. Lake the other day. Yeah, the Duck Lake, they're coming, so that's, I know those guys zip, you know, oh, around yeah. fast, so. <laughs> yeah, but I just think that if you're going to have them down there, you should have them, like Bob said, permanently locked yeah. right down, or get them out of there, one of the two, or somebody gets hurt. Should we have Steve just take the ones away from the beach area for now altogether? If there's no way to secure them that safe? Could he just bring them, to, like, to the bottom of the hill? You know? far enough away that it would be a real hassle for somebody to bring it down to the water? Uh, or could he take a truck down the two track and, they and put they, them in the well back? Well, they, do, the they do come back in, in the truck, you know, to empty the garbage and stuff that's down there. I know he does drive down there. Mm -hmm. um, I just hate, you know, I hate taking it away from the people yeah. on a picnic there. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. you know, I can keep a close eye on it. There's kind of, maybe there's something on Google that that other parks do. In the meantime, I mean, it, it couldn't hurt. There's a cheap way to secure those until we get better ones next year. I mean, it can't hurt. But yeah. What about just chaining them for this year and then <laughs> doing a little blown next year? Well, that's a thought. That's a thought. I mean, even if you even if you ran a chain between the two, it would be it would be pretty tough for them to drag two down there at the same time. Oh, yeah, good thought. And then then you're not uh, damaging, you know, the, damaging tree. the tree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a good idea. Chain them both together. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Okay, well let's uh, maybe we can add that to Steve's list, um, which he's been doing a a, a nice job on. Those bases that, uh, those fence bases that were sticking up at the tennis court are all pounded down now. Oh, good. The entire swing's gone and the, um, the spotlights have been replaced. Um, he still needs to get those uh, swings out that are under the hand climber. Uh, there's two swings there that need to be removed, but doing, doing well on the list. Okay, so he's going to do the two picnic tables chained together. Chained together. Okay, um, damage to the fencing, um, we, we noticed, uh, and, and actually some of this damage um, has been almost my entire lifetime. <laughs> I, you know, uh, I, 
I've noticed that there's, you know, some of the fence has been down, um, but then we had some trees that, that fell and, and damaged the portion. Um, I kind of paced that off this morning. There's about, I'm looking at about, you know, 200, maybe 200 feet total of um, farm fencing. That's um, about 42 inches wide. The, the mesh size is, is like 12 by eight. So it's a fairly large opening. It's like a cattle style farm fence. Um, not real expensive. You're probably looking at somewhere between two and three hundred dollars for like a three hundred and thirty foot roll. So, Are the yeah. posts all right and stuff like that? So you I think test. you could get, you know, and there's a variety of posts. There's, there's some of the, like the new channel posts and there's some, you know, um, like the, the T style. Um, maybe you could use two or three, but the majority of them are Okay. Where that tree came down, it, it drilled them. <laughs> it's, it's only about this high out of the ground now, so uh, that one's in pretty deep, so we'll probably have to replace that. But, um, and I think there was one other that was bent over, but you know, just a uh, couple fence posts and then those, those little aluminum uh, fence ties you know, that they use for chain link, you know, a package of those would, would probably do it. Um, I'm just having a hard time finding something that matches exactly what, what we have down there. Most of what I've seen is is either like a six inch square or they're gonna get you know a four by four or, there, or a variety of sizes. I have not found one that has the big like twelve by eight um, opening. You probably won't until that opening won't. Well, I don't know. I, I I thought maybe checking some of the farming fleet, you know, like tractor supply and, and special order or something. Yeah, yeah and, and, and see. So you know, until we actually get that tree cleaned up, I don't think. Uh, and, and the fact that it, they've been, some of them have been down for 30, 40 years, um, um, I, I think we can uh, do some more research on that. Is this, are you thinking for this year's budget we can well, get this through or? You know, if we could do it under, you know, like general maintenance. Yeah. You know, if it's not, because it's not, a, a, if we do the work again, um, it wouldn't be terribly <coughs> expensive. Okay. I'll, I'll volunteer. I'll start volunteering to make them do. <laughs> and I think we've got a post, uh, if you need it, those two posts. We've got a, a driver of those somewhere that, you, you know, you just bang on the top of the green post yes. to get it in the ground. That would be, that would be helpful. Yeah. And, uh, and maybe a uh, pair of like bolt cutters or it wouldn't have to be big ones just oh. for like cutting the fences. Yeah, we had two at the cottage. We might get onto one or two more, but yeah, I'll, I'll see if we've got one okay. around. Thank you. Okay, well, I'll continue to, to see if I can locate something that fairly matches what we have down there. I don't think we need you know, to get it exact, but at least the same height. Yeah. What is that, the end of the property line you're talking about? That's it's property mainly line. the, the, the it's along the front of the property that runs kind of, there's a fence that runs between the park from Meastern Road down um, to a, the corner um, of the park. That seems to be fairly untouched. It's that, it, it, it's the one that runs down to the Duck Lake, okay. it's parallel and down yeah. to the lake that is catching all the, the, for some reason all the trees keep falling on that portion. Okay, any more discussion on fencing? Okay, uh, baseball bases. Um, I think um, I think what we're talking about here is the, the plugs that go in under the bases for, for dragging purposes. Um, we did find the, the proper plugs that, that go with that style base and we were able to, to get those and they, we've got them. Well, what, what you do is you, you put them in, you drag it, and then you take them back out, put the base, you, you kind of swap okay. the bases well, out. Who's so doing that with those? I, I hope so. I hope so too. Does, does he put those up there? Or? Oh, okay. I, I, well, I talked to Marcia about it because yeah. she had called me. And I said, well, I understood Steve was doing it. So yeah, I, I ordered them through Carolyn and, mm -hmm. and uh, I 
they said when they come in, you know, just give them this food, basically for weight and fat. And, mm -hmm. um, well, that's the easy way to do it. Okay. Okay. So that was pretty simple. Um, let's move on to the uh, grant updates and then be down to Lynn. Oh, yep. Yeah. Um, working on the, the grant uh, to go into, I'll have it done by the July work session, um, the request for proposals. Uh, to go in and then I'll get started if they accept it. I'm going to um, preemptively start on the rest of the grant <laughs> at this point, working on the information that they would need, um, like the visuals and that. So, but this is for the playground equipment through the Community Foundation for the Skewing County mm -hmm. grant. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, were you aware of the um, the grant proposal that was done through the Community Foundation back in February of 17? That we were apparently denied on. I don't know what um, it was for. I, I had seen something in the minutes where yeah, Terry that. Terry Hempel um, kind of wrote it um, from the, the township board. She wrote it. It was for a festival. Is that oh, I don't I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it was for um, a community festival, and I remember she had asked the um, commission at the time, and she said if you um, want to go ahead and write it, you know, we support it, but we were. We had other projects going on at the time, but okay. yeah, I, I do know that grant. Okay, I just wanted to make sure we don't make the same mistakes and get denied again. Oh, so. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, okay. did, I didn't have a hand in it. Um, it. It was submitted through the Parks and Rec Department, but it was, yeah, it was, I'm aware of the, the issues surrounding that. So. Okay. Anything else on the on grants? No. Have something for all of you to look at for the July work session, and then we can tweak it and get that in. So. Okay, um, and so the next item up is the July work session. Did, Deb, did you want to? Were you, were you looking at picking a date for that? Or you well, just... I think just getting an agreement if we wanted one, and it's probably easier if we send a round robin on email to pick the actual date because everybody doesn't have their calendars right there or something. But I was, I was willing to have one and if so, would it need a master plan and grant or do we not need one? So that was the purpose of that. Yeah, we could, I think we should keep plugging away on the master plan and the- Yes. Yeah. yeah. Just, I mean, we got three sections down. I think we should plug on that. And I, I really want to make sure that we do this grant right, so. I mean, I, I would be in favor of it, you know, even though this, you know, it's a, I know it's a very busy month for everybody.